Brain Muffin back with another beer review you can use. So up today, I have to admit, apparently I've tried this before and I didn't remember. I bought this because the lady on the front. And because it's a double box. And because it's from Lithuania. And because I can't pronounce it properly. Anyway, this is a double box premium European lager. Uh, and I think this is Boris Viejo. I don't know. It seems like his style, maybe. I, maybe she's got too much clothing on. She is really cute. Even if she is a blonde. So... Hits a double box, so maybe that's a blonde beer, blonde woman on the front. So let's get cracking. This is a double box. I don't know what the APV is. I don't know if it says 9.7 percent. We have a nice big glass because we got about a half a liter pour. This is not. Uh, it's not for the timid of heart. Let me tell you, this is definitely a beer you have at the end of the evening when you're not going to go anywhere. Uh, oh, one pint. Oh, it's just over a pint, so it's not quite. Um, I don't know how many milliliters it is, but still at 9%, this is going to be pretty big. Nice head on there. It's going to stay. Oh, wow. That is malty. That is really, really malty. And I needed to get a big enough glass so I can about stick my face in it. Hmm. Wow. That's definitely a bot. Wow. And it has, it has some alcohol warming. So this is a rapidly, um, <laughs> most likely this was fermented a little bit too quickly. It's still sweet too. But because of that burn, it does let you know there's alcohol there. So this isn't going to be one that's going to sneak up on you. If it had that sweetness without the alcohol after burn, this thing would sneak up on you like you wouldn't believe. It has a little bit of bitterness, which I can contribute. Oh, I just gleeped. Continue. Uh, I could contribute some of that bitterness, I believe, to the fact that it comes from Lithuania. So it's traveled a long way to get to me. Who knows how long ago this was bottled. 9.7%. I'm surprised it's not in milliliters. Um, so it's conceivable that there's some travel damage here. But uh, it's definitely a good solid three. It could be better. I would like to try it fresher, uh, but that would mean going to Lithuania, um, which I've never been to. And I got a badge. Woo! -hoo! Unlock the logger badge. Level two. I'll be Bach. <laughs> That's funny. So uh, yeah, the the foam didn't stay as well as I thought it would, but it's still there. Yeah. And this is definitely one that's it's still a little on the cold side, but it's probably a little bit warmer to get a little less bitter. But it's definitely a golden bot. It's definitely there. It's got some raisins, hints of raisins and uh, persimmons, and there's some fruitiness to it. Not a whole lot kind of on the, the mouth. It's kind of a, a lingering after effect. And, you know, this is the kind of beer I would have... <laughs> This may sound really crazy, but I would have meaty chili with this, and kind of the Cincinnati variety with meat and beans. No, but no, I wouldn't do any pasta. I don't really do a whole lot of pasta. You could, you could do pasta with it, but just no onions, just meat and cheese and beans. Uh, a real hearty one, real you know, kind of heavy. I don't know why, but that's what I get with this: is the sweetness. You get that spice, have a nice combination back and forth. And uh, I tell you, that combination, though, the next day, no one's going to want to be around you. You're going to be passing gas like you're, you're in a war zone. But, um, wow, it is a very interesting after flavor, and I would really like to try this fresher. Uh, they have some other stuff with chicks on the front that I may have to get just because of the, the drawings. You know, I'm almost 50. I mean, come on. Give me a break. But, uh, yeah, who knows what she really looks like. You know, it's probably someone's imagination. But I like the pose, too. Like, yeah, of course I kill dragons. What else do I do in this, in this outfit? All right. Uh, and and Sarkeesian is probably rolling over and are going to punch me. Anyway, great. I'd be awesome. Hey, thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> thanks for cooking light. Thanks for putting up with me through all these beer reviews. We're going to have a bunch more. Now Toby's getting water. It's time to feed the dogs. It's time to get started on a bunch of other stuff. And I'm really serious. I want to start doing these reviews with other people. If you're open to it, please let me know. We'll figure out a way to make it happen. And uh, 
you know, won't be probably won't be easy, but we'll figure it out. I can bring my computer up here where it's better light. We can do all kinds of things. All right, thanks, and see ya. Really? You couldn't wait two minutes. All right, let's go out, doggy. Kus, kush, kushkia, then kushkia. Interesting double back. Oh, it's a, what is that guy's name? His name's Boris. Boris Natasha. Looking for a moose and squirrel. Yeah, there he is. Vallejo. Vallejo, I guess. Vallejo. 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 Boris Vallejo. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if I found this? This was really one of his things. Anyway, we gotta get this started on the review. I know, you doggies need to go out.